Hi guys and good afternoon. I am Glenn with Mr. Crafty Man. As I promised last week, we've got a really special project to do uh, this week. What we're going to be making is a sublimation clock. And this one here, I pre-made, has uh, myself and my grandson on it. But what we're going to do, um, I think we're going to make one with a nice mountain scene on it with a sunset behind it because as I mentioned last week, this particular clock that we're making is going to be given to one of our viewers. And what you have to do to qualify for this, uh, this clock is like and subscribe and then also comment on this video. And what I will do is everyone who likes the video and uh, subscribes and comments on it, I will write your name down on a piece of paper, put it in a cup, and we'll shake it up and draw one of you out. And we don't have a whole lot of subscribers yet since the channel is still new, so your chances of winning are pretty great. So what we're going to do first, I'm going to go over to the computer and I'm going to use ProRip to size a picture and print it out so we can do our sublimation on it. So I will see you at the computer. Okay, I'm over at the computer and I have got iColor Pro Rip open here and I am using it with the Uninet iColor 560. So what we're going to want to do is go up here into the upper left corner and click on the green plus sign. Okay, and it has some different pictures here that uh, pop up. And why don't we pick this one right here? Here's one with a, some mountains and a nice sunset, and then we'll click open. And what you're going to see here is it takes, uh, takes several seconds for it to load up here. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, over here in the red area, this is our work area, and you can see this area that's white. If you look at the top, this is 8.5 inches by 11, so that's the size of a sheet of paper. The red area is what our image is going to cover, so we definitely want to size it. So we're going to click on it, and then up here, we're going to click to size to page. And we measured our glass that our clock is going on, and it's 7 inches by 7 inches. So up here, we have 8.5 inches by about 4.5. So that's going to be way too small. So we're going to go to crop. And let's kind of make a square out of this image. And we'll go over here onto the other side. And then we'll push create. Okay, so now let's click our image again and size to page. So now we can see we've got eight and a half by seven. So we'll go ahead and print that out and then I'll see you back over at the table. We are back over at the table and while I was moving back over to the table here, I was thinking about some different pictures. This one here was the one that we had printed out, but I had a couple other options also. And I kind of decided I liked this one the best. So, I'm going to show you something a little strange here. This, this is the blank clock that we're going to be putting this image on. Now you can see it already has the Roman numerals on it here and they are silver. So we're going to be sublimating our design to the back of this clock and this is white so you're probably wondering how we're going to be able to see our image through that solid white and I don't know exactly how it works it's just magic. So what we're going to end up doing is we are going to place our clock face over it 
and we're going to put it in the heat press. So I will see you over at the heat press. Okay, now I've got my heat press set at 385 degrees and I've got it set for 180 seconds, which is about three minutes. We may have to go a little bit longer. We will uh, we'll see as we go along and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So what we want to do here is we are going to lay down our picture first and we're going to put our clock on top of it exactly where we want it and we're going to put another sheet of paper on top. So let's go ahead and we're going to close this down and get our timer started. We're coming up on the end of our time now and what we are going to do, you can see I've got my my uh, heat gloves on here, what we're going to do is we're going to take a peek at it and we're going to be looking for any cloudiness around the edges and if we have cloudiness we're going to put the heat on a little longer. I think I see just a little cloudiness down here and maybe up at the corner there so let's put it down just a little longer. Let's do it for oh maybe maybe about one more minute max. And this here is going to be a hot pole and that's the reason why I'm wearing these these gloves and in other videos that uh, you've seen me make I'm generally not wearing these gloves but this here is going to be a, a hot piece of glass and yes I said glass a hot piece of glass when this is all finished let's give it another quick peek a tiny bit longer. Alright, so let's go ahead and stop the timer. And remember, this is a hot, fast pole. We need to get this thing off as quickly as possible before it sticks to the uh, sticks to the glass. And try and keep your fingers off of the back of it as you do this. Okay, so let's take this back over to the table and wait for it to cool off. While we're waiting for this to cool, I want to show you the different components that come with the clock face. And I believe I ordered these off of eBay. I got them in a package of about 10. And they were came out to something like maybe $6 a piece. <clears throat> so in addition to the clock face, you get this little leg. And the leg is going to go in this hole right down here. And you can see it unscrews. This is a little jewel. And... You stick it through the hole and screw it together like that. And if you're going to sit this on a table, like we have this other clock that we made here, we would put the leg on and then it just sits like that. Now, something else that you can do if you would like is once we put the clock back on, you could just leave the leg off and you could hang it on a wall. Okay. Then we have this little packet that comes with it and in this packet we have the minute hand, we have the hour hand, we have the second hand and a couple little uh, washers and bolts here. And we have the uh, movement itself and something just happened to my light there for a minute. Sorry about that. 
Yeah, then we've got the clock movement itself. So we're just about cool here, and after it cools off completely, we'll get it assembled. Now that our clock is cooled, let's go ahead and assemble it. And the assembly is very simple. Let's go ahead and open up the packet that has the hands in it. which seems to be easier said than done. Okay. So what we're going to want to do first is we are going to install the movement. And we have this little rubber gasket here and that gasket is going to go on the back of the clock and that is what's going to keep the movement from swinging around and everything. So we have it poking through. Then we've got this little spacer here and we'll put that over the top and then we've got our little nut and let's make sure the back of it is still lined up as we put this nut on So everything is in alignment now. So next we have got our hour hand here and let's go ahead and put everything on so it's in the 12 o'clock position. Okay and then we have got our minute hand and our second hand. Okay. Okay, then the last thing we've got to do is put on the little leg if you decide you want it to be a table clock. And we are finished. It turned out very nice. The colors are just amazing. And I still have no clue how we put our image on the back of it and it somehow makes its way through that white, uh, the white coating. So, this clock was our project for today. I think it turned out very well. And it's still magical to me how this works. But um, this here is going to be given to one of our subscribers. So go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and make sure that you comment on this video. And one of you uh, I will get a hold of after we do the drawing and let you know you won the clock and I'll find out where to ship it to. Also if you're interested in participating in Sunday Crafternoon we are located here in Ogden, Utah and I would be more than happy to have uh, viewers uh, come on over and help out on Sunday uh, Sunday afternoons. So we will be back next week with another really neat art project. Honestly, I can't tell you what it's going to be. I've got so many different projects and boxes behind me right now. So I will be going through all of them and seeing what we could make next week that's really, really neat. 
So once again, thank you for joining me at Mr. Crafty Man for Sunday Crafternoon. My name is Glenn. It means a lot to me that you're here because, uh, as I've mentioned, we don't have a lot of subscribers yet because this is a brand new channel. So like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you back next week for Sunday Crafternoon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.